Hey guys, we're back with another video and today I wanted to show you how I transport my electric XP. I'm about to go on a bike ride here. So this is what I use. This is the Craftsman 50 gallon tote. And the reason I like this one is because it comes with the wheels in the back. Now the smaller totes you could also use but they don't come with the wheels in the back. So let's just get the measurements on this, the outside measurement. About 40 inches and the outside width about approaching 22 inches now the inside width the inside width is actually 17 inches so just so you know it's 17 inches on the inside and about 37 inches long so I set it up like this. Now preferably you do want to have two people whenever you're doing this as the bike is kind of cumbersome when you fold it, you know, the parts just go all over the place. It's nice that it folds, it gives you the option to transport, but it's not like specifically made for transporting it day in and day out because it's, it is kind of cumbersome. So if you have two people, definitely try to utilize it. Okay, so Try to put this bike in. So obviously you want to try to remove the key when you're doing this. So this way you don't bend the key. So we're going to remove the key. Make sure your pedals are kind of like this. You know, not like, like this or on this way. So you want to make sure it's kind of like this here. You unlatch it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up, put it right in there, like so. So here you could see how it, you know, fits in perfectly. Now, the next step is you definitely want to lower the handlebar here. And you could also lower the seat depending on your how much room you have next thing we do is we lift it up from here where the wheels are and you want to push it in like that so the wheels are right about to go in and like I said preferably you want to have two people do this if possible but if you're by yourself that's why I like this longer tote then you just lift it up from here see just push it in and you're done okay so if you want to take it out basically the reverse process but you definitely want to have if possible two people you know this way you could just take it out one on, the, on this side one is on that side but you could also do this by yourself you just have to be really careful Push it out, steady it, like that, and then we just drag it like this. As you can see, I'm not really, stra it's not strenuous because as you can see it's kind of balanced right here. So you just want to push it out of the way and gently lower it. that's about it then after that you could just take the bike out and once again if you have two people it's even better or you grab it by the handlebar here what I like to do is I like to connect the handlebar together first make sure there's nothing in the way your bottle holder snap it into place then grab it by the handle uh, by the handlebar right there and by the fork or the inside of the fork 
probably that or or here, whatever is more comfortable for you. I can just lift it out. As you can see, you see it kind of kind of get away, gets away from you. So if you have two people, it's better. There you have it guys, connect it back. So this is just the process that I use and mainly to keep the bike from going all over the place when inside the car. And if you have two of these bikes, then that's even better, you know. Two of these will sit nicely in each tote, not go up against each other and be pretty secure. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. See you in the next video.